Welcome to the Full Spectrum Laser Hobby Advanced Laser Head Adjustment Tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing how to adjust your laser head to eliminate any slop in vector cutting or skipping during raster engraving. We're going to need two tools in order to carry out these procedures. The two eccentric wheel adjustment keys and what we're going to be doing is if the laser head eccentric wheels are either too tight or too loose, we're going to take these keys and adjust the eccentric spacers. So you can see there are two fixed wheels on each laser head and two eccentric wheels. So the first thing to do is to turn your laser on, um, you know, move the laser head to a position that's comfortable to access, and then make sure your motors are locked. And what we're going to test right now is to see if the laser head wheels are adjusted properly. So with the motors locked, you notice I can't really move it. We're going to look at this wheel and right now you know, I'm moving this wheel and it's freewheeling. This wheel is also freewheeling and our bottom wheels, you know, you can move them. There's going to be some resistance here but I can move these wheels without the laser head moving while the motors are locked and that's what we want and I've just unlocked the motors now so you can see the head is free to move and I'm going to test and make sure that when I roll each wheel it engages with the guide channel and the laser head moves and you can see these two wheels are both too loose so the situation here is that the right wheel and the right eccentric are both loose and what we're going to do is I'll just lock the motors back up and use my key and adjust this just a little bit so that you know I'm still freewheeling while the motors are locked but while unlocked now I can move the laser head it engages with the guide channel and a few things you know to be aware of if you're over tightening these eccentrics what will happen during raster mode is the laser head will skip it'll make a noise Instead of traveling the full path, it'll skip, it'll go too short. Um, if your eccentrics are too loose, what you'll see during vector mode is uh, sloppy lines. Your lines won't be straight. You know, so the situation is with skipping in raster mode, you need to loosen your eccentrics. And with sloppiness in vector mode, you need to tighten your eccentrics. And once you perform these procedures, you, know, you can check, make sure you, know, you can see there's good head engagement right here. You can lock your motors up and run job.